We'll go goose hunting stuff, but it doesn't have anything to do with goose hunting. It's all about just getting outside. Get out of the house. I was in the house for a long time. After my second deployment, I actually started to show some signs of post-traumatic stress disorder. I had a lot of sleepless nights. I had a lot of nightmares, anger issues. I was on just about everything that you could think of for everything from antidepressants to antipsychotics. They switched them so many times that it just became a kind of a game of, Doc, give me whatever you got. And they kept telling me, well, you know, one of these days we'll get it together. And not so much. There we go. You're fishy, fishy. Operation Outdoors basically started in a goose blind with my brother and my stepfather. I kept telling them, you know, that I really felt alive when I was sitting there waiting for the geese to come in you know, watching the sun come up, you know, being around people that I cared about or people that understood me. We thought, if it's working for me, why not try to give something back to other people and try to see if it had the same effect. You some help, you good? I don't get out of the house very often. It's been probably three months since I've, three or four months since I've uh, gone out and done something out in public. I, I just sit at home and, you know, it means a lot to me to, to be able to go out and do something that I used to do, used to enjoy. Every time I see a soldier's face smile and he says, you know, this is the first time I've been off the couch or out of the bed or out of the house and since November. And I'm like, I've been there, brother. I know what you're talking about, man. And you just have to get outside and you have to get into nature and, and find that peace that you can't find in your room at your house. I think they're trying not to blanket everybody with PTSD. Personally, I don't have PTSD. I had more of like anxiety with, uh, with depression due to the situation I was in. You see him? Look straight up. I found a buddy that I knew. He also suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. And um, we said, you know what? We're gonna do it. It's like a childhood toy that you used to love to play with that toy. Now you're an adult, you want that toy again so you can play with it. Corey provided me that toy. I looked over at him and he had a smile from ear to ear. And he said to me, this is the best time that I've had in over two years. I got him. but just to have one soldier who is hurting so much who has now said, you know what, I'm having the time of my life right now. It's not an easy thing to talk about because no man wants to show that he has any kind of uh, weakness. And we were taught for so long that you know PTSD was a weakness. A little goose hunting. And finally, they started to realize that, you know what, war has an effect on people. And the sooner that you can acknowledge that fact and try to fix it, you know, help them fix it, find a way to make it change, you know, the faster and the better they're going to be. Go. Tell you the truth, does it ever go away? Do the nightmares go away? I don't think so. You have to find ways to learn to love life. And the more that you can love life, that stress disorder starts to go away.